Okay and welcome to the tutorial on escape gram based model. To properly understand the escape gram based model, let us start with a very simple example. Suppose we have a simple text like uh, probabilistic language. model for information retrieval and we select a single word model and now we are searching for nearest words in the sequence semantically or logically related words with a constraint of window of size keywords now suppose in this case we take k is equal to 4 then our first word may be probability probabilistic second word may be language third word may be model and fourth word may be information retrieval so in summary we can say that the traditional skip gram based model identifies the nearest or semantically or logically related word for a given single input word and in the given context we also maintain the window context window of size keywords uh, now to understand the functionality of uh, skip gram based model we start with a very simple toy skip gram model in our skip gram based model we just used five vocabulary words so our first word is like uh, probabilistic second word is language third word is model fourth is information retrieval and fifth is data mining so here x1 represents the first word, x2 represents the second word, x3 represents the fourth, uh, third word, x4 represents the fourth word and so on. It is important to note that all words in the vocabulary should be distinct or unique. The number of nodes in the input layer should be same as the number of words distinct words in the vocabulary now the next part of the model is hidden layer the number of nodes in hidden layer represents the dimensionality of the system to properly understand the dimensionality let us take a very simple example of vector space model in traditional vector space model we represents each row as a file and each column as a word for example first column will represent the first word second column will represent the second word third column will represent the third word and so on so in the current case if the file one has only three words or three columns entry then its dimensionality will be three so it depends upon our algorithm selection that what kind of or number of nodes we can set for the dimensionality another important thing about hidden layer is in the current skip gram based model hidden layer only contains the summation layers the nodes of the hidden layer only contains the summation layer 
if we go through the traditional artificial neural network then we can divide the functionality of each node as into two parts the first part is called as a summation part and second part is known as activation part in summation part we take all the weighted neurons the sum of all weighted neurons as a input and in activation part we apply some sigmoid function or 10h function or relu function to get the non linearity in the output but in the current case of hidden layer each node contains only the summation part this is different from the traditional artificial neural network next layer is the output layer so before uh, going into the detail details of the output layer nodes and uh, these uh, three different uh, contexts let us first uh, explain the problem now in the current case we select a word model as a input word and we are interested to get the k nearest word where k equal to 3 k nearest word in the sequence or k semantically or logically related words in the vocabulary so here k is equal to 3 that's why we have arranged three context separate context windows in the output layer so the first context window will give the output word for k is equal to 1 second will give the second output word and third will give the third output word the number of nodes in the each of the output layer each same as the number of nodes in the input layer this is because we are dealing with every words in the vocabulary for each context so here you can see the vocabulary size in both cases now there is some difference in namings like w11 o11 here o21 here o31 for the same first node in three different layers because we have used uh, total uh, context window of size 3 so we have uh, this is the first output of first context window so this represents the sec first output of second context window and this represents the first output of third context window now we will explain the matrix here w11 represents the weight of neuron from node w12 to h1 similarly w12 is the weight of neuron from node w12 to node h2 and so on in this case here the weight of neurons from node h1 to o11 is represented as w dash 11 from h1 to o12 it is represented as w dash 12 from h1 to o13 it is represented as w dash 13 and so on now other important thing is we set x3 equal to 1 and for rest of the things like x2 is equal to 0 x1 is equal to 0 x4 is equal to 0 and x5 is equal to 0 in the input 
because we take because we have taken only one word model as a as an input word now there may be some questions like uh, in case of so many zeros and only single one how the system will work actually the hidden layer of uh, skip gram based model generally works as a lookup table so in the current context you can easily see that due to w3 this entire row will be not non zero and that's why the system will work now we can divide the entire operation of skip gram based model into two different parts the first part is forward pass the second part is back propagation so now let us start with the forward pass actually in the forward pass we take these inputs calculates the weight at hidden layer generates the output calculate the weight at output layer now it is important to note that at output layer we maintain both functionality of nodes as generally used in traditional artificial neural network but generally instead of using sigmoid 10h and relu functions we use softmax function we will discuss everything in detail in the next section so now after output say output getting the output if we face some error then we apply the back propagation the main aim behind these back propagation steps are to get some optimal or stable weights of the neurons attached neurons for example this neurons and this neuron so that at a, after training in the case of text phase test phase when we supply some input then it automatically calculates the correct output probability or output weight from the trained model because of stable neuron weights so the test phase only contains the forward pass no back propagation